Hello, welcome to Romy Uncensored, our podcast. I just want to say you're welcome and thank you very much for visiting this channel. If it's your first time, I'm asking you to subscribe to the channel and make sure that you ring the bell. But if you're my regulars, my buddies, my siblings, I just want to send you a shout out and thank you so much for sticking around. It means a lot. Your company is great and I'm enjoying it. All I want to do is for you guys to take a look at what we are about to show you now. Take a listen by the SADC election observer mission on that election is the most damning condemnation of any election that you can see in, in recent uh, times. And that puts a premium uh, on our development. That puts a premium on our attractiveness as an investment uh, destination. Most importantly, it underlines a, a, a discourse uh, of discohesion a discourse of uh, disunity, a discourse of intolerance. The new parliament was only sworn in a week ago, but as already as I'm talking to you right now, that parliament has been weakened by unconstitutional recalls of over 15 or so members of parliament. So before we have begun, an important institution such as parliament has already been paralyzed. Local authority has already been paralyzed. So we're going to reproduce the lackadaisic status quo, the indifferent status quo, the conflict status quo of 2018 to 2023, we're going to reproduce it from 2023 to 2028. With the consequent rested development of Zimbabwe, slow growth rates, 3% growth rates, 2% growth rates, negative growth rates, where we could be having a sustained growth rate of at least 9% per annum. We're going, our GDP right now is around 18 a billion uh, uh, dollars. In 1980, Trevor, you are the economist, I'm not. In 1980, our GDP was a mere uh, seven billion dollars. Zambia was three billion dollars. Kenya was uh, seven billion dollars. Fast track, uh, uh, 44 years after independence, Kenya is a 264 billion dollar economy. Zimbabwe is an 18 billion dollar economy. Zambia is now a 64 billion dollar economy. What is the difference the difference is leadership. What is the difference? The difference is our toxicity. So we need to confront the elephant in the living room, which is our ugly politics, our extractive uh, you know, you know, politics, our vicious politics, our predatory politics. We need to address that. Address the issue of resources. It is true that Zimbabwe is a rich country. We've got Thank you so much for sticking around. We've had fun. And I'm asking you guys to subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you ring the bell. And um, see you guys in my next upload. I love you all. Bless you.